spiritual warfare, spiritual tools, the sword of truth, the shield of discernment, the power of the Egyptian mantra, the Zen Uru. Zen Uru. Z I N space, next word, Uru, U R U. The true meaning of Zen Uru is the memory to remember the truth of full awareness that you were meant to be free and not a slave. Zen Uru. This Egyptian, ancient Egyptian mantra preserved in the emerald tablets of Toth. This phrase, this magic mantra, Zen Uru, these words cut through illusion, all illusion, invoking the truth of our essence as children of light. That we are destined to be sovereign and not sovereign, free, and not slaves to any kind of Illuminati 3D digital matrix. The way out of the matrix is in through the heart energy. The way to move forward, onward and upward is through unconditional love. Deep in earth's heart lies the flower, the source of the spirit that binds all in its form. Or know ye that the earth is living in body, Gaia, Tara, fifth dimensional new earth. As thou art alive in thine own formed form. The flower of life is as thine own place of spirit and streams through the earth as thine flows through thy form. We are just little pop-ups, part of the earth. We are all us humans. We are simply the sentient, more sentient, divine aspects, but we are all part of Gaia, fifth dimensional Tara, the new earth. We are the earth. We are the children of the earth, children of the sun, renewing the spirit from form unto form. This is the spirit that is form of thy body shaping and molding into its form. Know ye, O man, that thy form is dual, balanced in polarity while formed in its form. Know that when fast on thee, death approaches, it is only because thy balance is shaken. It is only because one pole has been lost. Know that the secret of life in Amenti is the secret of restoring the balance of poles. All that exists has form and is living because of the spirit of life in its poles. Polarities, negative, positive, self service, service to others. See not that in earth's heart is the balance of all things that exist and have being on its face. The source of thy spirit is drawn from earth's heart. For in thy form thou are one with the earth. When thou hast learned to hold thine bound, own balance, then, thou, then shalt thou draw on the balance of earth. Exists then shalt thou, while earth is existing, changing in form, only when earth too shall change. Tasting not of death, but one with this planet, holding thy form till all pass away. A symbol, Zenuru. Symbol represents our great spirit transmuting into form. The embodiment of awareness, the infusion of awareness into the living body. Many sacred concepts and all of them relating to the creation process. Love is the force that breathes life into being. Zen Uru symbolizes birth, rebirth, new life. Every day you can start fresh and new, no past judgment, always moving forward toward a higher purpose, ever onward, ever upwards, ever forwards, folks. Zen Uru. Put on all of your spiritual gifts, tools, uh, energy. We are a free will planet and 
If you notice the Illuminati, they, even they, even though they've been um, blatantly are in disregard and violation of cosmic law and they're paid, they paid for it, they will pay for it. However, even within their insidious, nefarious, deceitful system of lies, you notice that they are still beholden to cosmic law. And that's why you see so much projection, uh, so much uh, um, self-fulfilling prophecy um, in their movies. They have to kind of make it known, you know, even though, you know, it's in a sort of a entertainment format, it's still uh, predictive programming. It's foreshadowing. And they're doing that because they have to, they're mandated. And so this is because of, of cosmic laws. And um, they've been able to sort of uh, exploit and manipulate and kind of squiggle in between, you know, just barely observing cosmic law, but still at the end of the day, just exploitation and just, um, um, you know, just downright insidious evil through their programs of, of uh, the digital matrix. And, um, but, but my point with that is, is they are still beholden to these cosmic laws. And that's where white magic comes in. That's where your discernment, your, your power to banish any element from your life. I mean, I can tell you about uh, instances where the word Zen Uru and, and, and watching a human basically shape shift back into reptilian, their reptilian aspect because of the power of the word Zen Uru, of the power of discernment, of the power of merely, just merely focusing energy upon the truth, all will be revealed. So that is where becoming a sovereign human and understanding and realizing the power that we as, as in souls, as soul humans that are not, you know, uh, being manipulated by the digital matrix programs, but we've connected back to our source. Um, we've done the inner shadow work where we've, you know, dismantled, uh, deleted the programs. We've gotten our source connection uh, aligned correctly and purified and detoxified. And that is where when you start to sense your own divine power, then your life changes. Uh, and it changes according to your will. Energy follows thought um, and cosmic law is real. Start using it. Start using your gifts. Start changing your life uh, as you envision. Just free yourself up from the matrix and your ass will follow as well as your heart. But remember, it's in through the heart chakra and the way out of the matrix is in through the heart chakra. Namaste. Namaskaram.